This video is brought to you by Ultium. There are some major reasons why I decided to shift from lipo batteries to the lithium ion batteries for powering up my quadcopter racing drone. I will also talk about the mistakes which are made by almost every beginner. For example, you make a battery but not able to charge it or you make a 3S or 4S lithium ion battery pack but you are not able to fly your drone with it. You just increase the throttle and the flight controller is restarted. I have seen a lot of guys facing the same issue. So I will practically show you how to fix this issue. I will also explain step by step the complete process of making a 4S lithium ion battery pack using these Samsung 3.7 volt 21700 4000 mAh 40T lithium ion batteries. And then I will practically share with you the test results and the flight time. So it doesn't matter whether you want to use 18650 lithium ion batteries or the 21700 lithium ion batteries, the techniques and the connections will remain exactly the same. So in this video, you will get answers to all of your questions. Without any further delay, let's get started. <laughs> and tools used in this video can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The very first question that might pops up in your mind is why lithium ion battery packs for powering up quad copper drones. The answer is lithium ion batteries are cheap, durable and gives you more flight time. If any of the cell is damaged, you can simply replace that one cell and again you can start using your battery pack. While on the other hand, the LiPo batteries are very expensive, not durable at all and gives you less flight time. If any of the cell is damaged, it's hard to replace that cell and then the whole battery pack becomes useless. I'm not saying it's impossible to repair the LiPo battery, but it's hard to find the same rating LiPo cell. In my case, I'm not in favor of repairing a LiPo battery. If any of the LiPo battery is damaged, I simply throw it away or I remove the damaged cell and then use the other cells for powering up my controller boards and other sensors. Now I'm going to talk about the beginner's level mistakes. When I decided to start with the lithium ion batteries, the very first mistake which I made was I built a 4S lithium ion battery pack using 3.7 volt 18650 laptop batteries. I was really happy. I connected my 4S battery I could hear all those beeps so far everything was going as per the plan but things changed when I started to apply the throttle. The flight controller was restarting and I was really disappointed. This was due to my mistake as I was using lithium ion batteries with low discharge rate. So whenever you are going to purchase the lithium ion batteries first check the discharge rate. It doesn't matter whether you decide to use 18650 or 21700 lithium ion batteries. So if you have built your first lithium ion battery and you are not able to fly your drone with it, then simply go ahead and check the discharge rate of your lithium ion batteries. Anyways, the discharge rate of these 18650 lithium ion batteries is just 4 amps. So with these batteries, I can never fly my racing drone. So I didn't stop here. I started searching for the 18650 lithium ion batteries with current discharge rate of around 30 amps. Seriously, I was looking for 18650 lithium ion batteries, but then I found these Samsung 21700 batteries, which are more powerful than the 18650 batteries. Samsung is always ahead of the game when it comes to the high drain batteries and the Samsung 40T battery is a shining example of their innovation. These 3.7 volt 21700 4000 mAh lithium ion batteries offers 
35 ampere maximum discharge rate making this 40D top choice for high drain devices. So let's go ahead and make a 4S lithium ion battery pack for the racing drone. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for delay, push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. In my previous video, I have already explained how to make 3S and 4S lithium ion battery packs using a homemade spot welding machine. I will provide a link in the description if you want to make the same spot welding machine. Anyways, since most of the beginners has no spot welding machine, so this time I'm going to use the soldering technique. So let's go ahead and start making the 4S lithium ion battery pack. Next, we are going to connect all these four cells in series. I set my soldering iron temperature at 400 Celsius. For this soldering job, I am using this bevel or C-series step. Due to its large, slightly curved surface, it can hold more solder than most other tips and it can transfer more heat. I have a very detailed video on how to use different soldering iron tips. I will provide a link in the description. I'm going to connect the positive of the first cell with the ground of the second cell. Now I'm going to connect the positive of the second cell with the ground of the third cell. Now I'm going to connect the positive of the third cell with the ground of the fourth cell. All the cells are connected in series and now let's check the voltage. This is the main positive and this is the main ground. The voltage is 13.72 volts and this is good. I also soldered the nickel plated strips with the main positive and ground of the battery pack. Now I'm going to solder the two wires of the XT60 connector.
Now the final step is to solder the balance connector with the lithium ion battery bag. When you hold the connector like this, the first wire is going to be connected with the main positive of the battery bag. This is really an important step. All the wires should be connected in the correct order. So the main voltage wire is connected. The final wire of the connector is going to be soldered with the main ground of the battery bag. Now we have to solder the remaining three wires. For this let's take a look at the connection diagram. The positive of the first cell is connected with the ground of the second cell. The positive of the second cell is connected with the ground of the third cell. The positive of the third cell is connected with the ground of the fourth cell. This is the main positive of the battery pack and this is the main ground of the battery pack. These three wires are need to be connected in the same order. If you connect these wires in the wrong way, then you won't be able to charge your battery pack and there are also high chances of damaging your balance charger. So double check your connections. I soldered the remaining three wires as per the connection diagram. This is the main positive and this is the main ground and now let's check the voltages. My 4S lithium ion battery pack is ready. It's been 2 hours and now the battery pack is fully charged. Now let's go ahead and check if this battery pack is going to give me 20 to 25 minutes of flight time.
This was such an amazing flight experience as this was my first time using a four is battery pack. This battery pack gave me 25 minutes of flight time without any issues and seriously I still feel like I can fly this racing drone for more 10 to 15 minutes. So in the end I highly recommend you guys should definitely try these Samsung 21740T 4000mAh lithium ion batteries. You can also use 1860 50 lithium ion batteries but don't forget to check the discharge rate so that's all for now support me on patreon for more videos i hope you liked today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching